Hey guys, my name is Shannon. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to go ahead and reset your Windows PC, completely clean install, and formatting the whole hard drive. I'm going to take you through the steps of what you need and what you're going to go and have to go ahead and do on your actual computer. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications to see exactly when I post a new video. But other than that, let's get started. So the first thing you guys will need is a USB flash drive. I just want to say this because if you don't have a disk drive or anything, this is the easiest way. We're going to get the latest Windows from the Windows site itself and install it on the actual USB so you can boot up from it. The next thing you guys will want to go ahead and do is download all your drivers also and put it on here because you never know if you will or will not have Wi-Fi drivers already installed and then you'll have to go on a different computer to go ahead and get those so it's just easier to get them from the start. But before we actually go ahead and install Windows the first thing you will want to go ahead and do is actually backing up your whole computer. Now by the whole computer I don't literally mean your whole computer just whatever important files you do go ahead and have. Resetting your PC will have a lot of advantages while speeding up your computer and actually maybe for whatever you need it will be better for your needs. It will completely do a clean install what is always great just in case. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is head over to the Microsoft store over here and get the Windows Media Creation Tool. It's pretty easy to go ahead and get. It's literally on the Microsoft software downloads. So the first thing you want to go ahead and do is Google Windows 10 Media Creation Tool, then click on the first link that is Microsoft's. Once you go ahead from there, you'll see download Windows 10. You just want to download the installation media over here, download the tool. Once you download it, all you have to go ahead and do is open it up and then go ahead and plug in your USB. Once you have your USB opened up over here, you'll see Windows 10 setup. Over here, I have my USB plugged in already. Make sure that there's nothing in it because it will go ahead and format the USB completely when it actually goes ahead and starts. Once you get over here, you just wanna click on accept. You can go ahead and read it and then go ahead and click on accept. Over here, we'll just get all the Windows setup files already and making sure that everything is up to date. It will ask you whether you want to upgrade this computer or install it on a media disk, whether being an ISO file or actually on your USB. Over here, we'll just click on create installation media and then click next. Over here, you can go ahead and do whatever language you want, English, US, and then Windows 10 is the only drop down and the architecture. You can install both if you want to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and do 64 bit. Click on next. You will need a flash drive to be at least eight gigabytes. I'm putting a 32 gigabyte just in case, but again, it's up to you. You just need eight gigabytes. Make sure it's on USB, then click next. Click on your flash drive and then click on next. Now it will go ahead and format the drive completely and it will say getting a few things. Now this depends on your internet. If you don't have fast internet, it will take some time. But if you do expect it to be done in just a couple of minutes or so, but this ultimately just depends on your internet right when you're done this part it will go ahead and install it on your usb flash drive now the part right when it installs it on the usb flash drive can take some time because that depends on the speed of your flash drive itself so now your usb flash drive is ready as you can see you just have to go ahead and click a finish it will say setup is cleaning and depending on how your computer is it should be pretty quick sometimes it will take forever it depends on your computer over here you can see it didn't really take that much space let's see it only took four gigs the installation file and it will have everything in here to go ahead and reset your computer but before we go ahead and actually restart your pc you will want to go ahead and download some main drivers that you know you might need Now you will want to go ahead and copy all your drivers from your downloads to an actual U USB, the one either you install Windows on or not, it's really up to you. So then you can go ahead and quickly install it once you are done. You will want to go ahead and turn off your computer so you can easily go ahead and do that 
by just going ahead and powering it off. Once you go ahead and do that, just wait for it to completely turn off. Then I would recommend actually going ahead and unplugging everything from your computer, from the front and in the back of the computer itself, like I will go ahead and do, except for your mouse and keyboard as you will still need that, and obviously your HDMI cable. So anything that is unneeded over here, go ahead and unplug it. So once you do go ahead and unplug everything, you will wanna go ahead and plug in your USB to your actual computer over here then you, you can see it lights up but your computer might not light it up that's not really a problem then you want to go ahead and turn on your PC and hit the delete key escape key F7 F2 F12 whatever your key is actually just go ahead and do that you should go ahead and load into your BIOS or your UE FI over here and as you can see I loaded into it you can go ahead and you can see my actual sand disk over here with the Windows stuff over here I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the boot menu or just F8 this will obviously depend on what you are actually using I'm gonna just click on the partition one I'm gonna click OK now it should boot out of the USB itself this will overall just go ahead and do its own thing and I'll show you how to set it up from there so from here you just want to go ahead make sure it's on language English US or whatever language you want to go ahead and install time and then your keyboard whatever you want to go ahead and do over here I'm just gonna change this to English Canada and just go ahead and click on next over here you'll see Windows repair your computer or install now click on install now setup will say it is starting and then from here it's pretty self-explanatory I'm gonna explain both of it but if you do want to go ahead and do a clean install I will show you exactly how to go ahead and do this when you see the activate Windows little pop-up over here you could say you don't have a product key or just type it in I just say I don't because I like setting it up once Windows is actually fully booted up because then it can connect to the internet immediately and work right from there so I just say I don't have a product a product key over here you'll get all the versions of Windows that you want to go ahead and install just go for the actual ones so over here you could do home you could do pro or whatever I'm gonna go and click on Windows 10 education and I'm gonna go ahead and click on next now this is really up to you and whatever you actually have as a key to go ahead and use I'm gonna just go ahead and accept go ahead and read through this if you want and then click next over here you'll have two different things upgrade or custom install but since we are going to go ahead and do a fresh clean install you do want to go ahead and click custom over here you'll see many different partitions of your actual hard drive i have a one terabyte hard drive so you'll see four different partitions i'm actually going to be formatting it completely as i don't want to go ahead and keep anything so i'm going to format partition four completely and i'm going to actually delete it completely and let Windows go ahead and recreate all partitions for itself. Over here, this is pretty easy. Just go ahead and delete all the partitions. Really up to you, you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and format all of them and then delete it. Over here, you'll go ahead and see drive one allocate, unallocated space. You will just wanna go ahead and click new and it will automatically be at the top. You just want to go ahead, click up if you want, and that will be practically what you can go ahead and do. Click on apply. Windows will go ahead and make sure it will create the right partitions for it to work, like a recovery parti partition and all of that. You can create more if you want or less and do your own stuff, but this is what they actually have for your system recovery and MSR. And this is the partition you will be using your actual partition you can go ahead and format that again but like i already said it was already formatted in the first place now you cannot really install on any of the others you just want to go ahead and make sure you click partition 4 then go ahead and click next from there windows will go ahead and start installing everything onto the hard drive itself and we're almost done So now you should be in Windows itself, 
quite easy. You can see everything has been loaded up. It will try to search for everything, but like I said, there is no internet right now, so it won't be able to. At this point, you could go ahead and remove your USB. You didn't need it in all the time, but it was really up to you. This is quite important. Just go ahead, open it up and go to the drivers folder like I said before. Over here you'll see that you have a bunch of different drivers, whichever ones you want to get went and installed. I don't have my display drivers on here, so it's just gonna be the basic one, I believe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check that right now. Wow, this is laggy. I don't know why that says 64. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely, well, oh, this is so laggy right now. Um, so you just want to go ahead and install whatever you have. I'm going to do my graphics card first. And practically, you'll just want to go ahead and install all your drivers. And that's practically it. Once you are done over here, you have a clean install of Windows. And I will show you that right now. If I go over here and I go to this PC, you can see my hard drive over here is completely formatted and I have no apps installed other than the basic Windows ones that come with it. So that is practically how you go ahead and do a full clean install of Windows once you are done installing your drivers, which doesn't take that long and is actually pretty simple. So that is how you go ahead and reset your Windows 10 PC to have a fully clean install. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. But other than that, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. What did I just say?